Hello everyone, Bad Mark with MechTech here, and today we're taking a look at the FL Esports Q75. It is an 82 key, 75% exploded keyboard without a knob that is gasket mount and installed with a polycarbonate plate out of the box. This was way more substantial than I expected. It is built quite well, and despite the fact I do not usually like transparent cases, this one has a gloss that is so high it reflects all light and is unique in its appearance. It comes with your standard fare of documentation for key layout as well as shortcuts that can be used. They also direct you to their website to download the software, which is for the most part standard fare but seems a little bit more powerful than most. You get your USB-C to USB-A braided cable as well as a switch and cap puller. Now this keyboard was quite substantial straight out of the box and as you can see from underneath has a hardware switch for both Macintosh and window modifiers. The legs have two different sets providing three different levels of angle. You can see by my pressing that there is flex of this keyboard right out of the box. Not only that, the plate mounted stabilizers are some of the best that I've seen. They do come pre-lubed, but it's not a gob of it. It looks like they actually inserted some lube into the stabs. They are so smooth. And that's why I use this keyboard out of the box in my sound test at the end of this video. They're quite stable. There's no need for modification. One of the only complaints I had about this keyboard would be how the USB port is placed. It makes it a little difficult at first to find exactly how you have to put it in. It's basically just a slight angle and a twist and you can get it in there. And then shortly after begins the RGB light show. If you like RGB folks, you will like this keyboard. That's one thing they definitely did get right. It is quite bright, and because of the uh, frosted PC plate, it allows the light to propagate very nicely, even if when using switches that do not have a window for LED. It has many different settings, and the software obviously allows you to customize that a lot more, but just with the function keys, you can get solid colors to rainbows to everything in between i'm not the biggest craziest fan about rgb but this one is a nice one i also wanted just to show really quickly for gasket mounted keyboards to work well they have to have some space to actually flex within so i'm running my tweezers underneath to show how much room there is already for this review i decided to use some jwip t1 tactile switches they do come factory pre-lubed and they feel and sound quite nice minus just a tad amount of scratchiness i thought they'd be fitting quite well on this board just to do a quick sound test now this is just a quick overview but i will be doing a more in-depth one where i tear it down and we get the best sound out of it that we can but for right now i decided let's go ahead and put a keycap set that I've actually had sitting around for a while and decided it was time to give it a go. It's a dye sublimated PBT XDA profile of what is called Dolch. Now this keycap set actually has nice crisp printed legends and once completely installed made the board stand out or pop even more than I expected. I actually quite like the look of it and the fact that it's extremely substantial. I honestly was not expecting this to be the best keyboard I've experienced straight out of the box.